from the United States of America to the people of Greece and to the other 99% of the world population that is now struggling just like the Greek people are. People of Greece, we salute you and we congratulate you. You have decided to vote for life and humanism. You voted for dignity and pride. Brothers and sisters of Greece, the path you have decided to take on today is one the generations to come will be very proud of you. You have decided to rescue your mother country. You have to say no to reforms. You have to say no to cuts. You have to say no to austerity measures. You have said no to La Troika. You took it against the biggest humanity's uh, enemies. You took it against the economic, financial, social, and military terrorists of today's world. The same ones that continue to terrorize you by using their immense power they have accumulated through killings and plunderings and plain stealing. You took it against the planet major mercenaries yes the same one the same ones who have been plundering it for centuries the ones that even the highest authority in the catholic church pope francisco called the mother earth's worst nightmare yes that one percent who, who has now in wealth the equivalent of what more than half of the entire planet population has Yes, that 1% has become rich and powerful as a result of centuries of pillaging, plundering, and ransacking other people's resources. That 1% has destroyed the entire nations and peoples for years and years. They are now destroying the whole planet with their system of endless accumulations of wealth and power. That 1% which now is ready to strangle you. Simply because you have refused to be a stronger one. The one percent that has been looting and robbing the planet is the same that the Greek people have said, please, don't kill us no more. After decades of economic slavery, after years and years of seeing your country being plundered by the enemies of peace and democracy, by the financial thugs of the world, you have said, basta, yeah, enough is enough, we won't take it no more. You have decided to be free again, to defend your sovereignty, to rescue your independence, to take back your land. You have followed the honorable and dignified path that others have already taken. Venezuela, Cuba, Ecuador, Argentina, Bolivia, and on and on. Countries and people who decided some years ago to do what you just did today. These countries are no longer slaves with the financial mercenaries of the world. Just the same ones that are bleeding you to death. These countries can now build schools and hospitals. The same countries that once were slaves of the International Monetary Fund, the World Bank, the World Trade Organization, etc. etc. are now looking back and saying, we're proud we did it. If we would have to do it again, we would do it. Bolivia has now gotten out of being Latin American poorest nation to be a leading one in overcoming poverty and illiteracy. Bolivia is building schools and hospitals and is caring now for her children and the elderly. Others will follow what you did today. Spain is bleeding. Italy can't go on anymore. Puerto Rico is saying it can no longer pay the debt. Portugal is suffering more today than yesteryear. Your brave example will be followed. And you will not take it no more. 
Greece belongs to you and not to Dunkirk's. Greece is for Greeks and not for Troika, the International Monetary Fund, the European Central Bank, and the European Union plus the economic Greek elite that have sold soul of the nation. Mother Greece is proud of you. Your children are and will be proud of you. Greece will be Greece again, birthplace of something called democracy. Now Greece must make Germany to pay what they took during the Nazis' occupation. The equivalent in today's money, more than $15 billion. This money is Greek money. It must be returned to its people. Added interest since 1940. We include interest, then we will almost double that amount. Money that must be returned to the Greeks. We're talking about probably close to, by now, $30 billion. The history includes tens, if not hundreds, of thousands of Greeks starving to death to feed the German people and their armies, and tens, if not hundreds of thousands of Greeks publicly hung and shot or executed in death camps. This is the real history of Greece. It must be told to the whole world that Germany must return the billions of dollars it took from Greece and also must respond to the, for the millions of lives Greece lost to Germany's plunder 